I just wanted to bring up a couple of things too that uh, have kind of uh, gotten under my skin, I guess, a little bit and uh, car culture in general. And I wanted to see what you guys thought, what your um, opinions were. Um, I'd love to, to see what you guys think. Things, I don't know, just, you know, I. I've been messing around with cars and have been into cars for, for many decades now. And um, there, there seems to be um, a lot more toxicity in the car culture world now than there used to be. And I don't know if, am I just perceiving that? in a different way? Is it really there? I think it's there. I, I mean, I've spoken and talked to others about this and they think um, that I'm right, that they see it too. Uh, but I don't ever remember in the past about so many people being so over the top about things like horsepower, like, Oh my God, it's, your car is so slow. It, it doesn't have 18,000 horsepower. It's like, um, it doesn't do zero to 60 in 1.7 seconds. It, uh, um, I mean, just these crazy things. It's like they're, they're always acting like if they're not the very f fastest or quickest or, or most powerful or, um, you know, they're, they're always trying to act like they're the latest and greatest and the biggest, you know, um, biggest stud on the hill or something. I, it just, it really, it really just rubs me wrong the way people have gotten lately instead of just um, enjoying everybody's cars and having a good time with it. And, um, you know, I hate when the first thing that, <laughs> so many people say, oh, what's the zero to 60 time? Um, and I'll tell them, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't care. I don't, it's not a drag car. I don't go down to the drag strip and race it, which personally I think is pointless. I just, I, I don't understand the, the thinking when it comes to that. And so, um, I mean, I have, I have owned many different cars over the years and horsepower has never been associated with how fun the car is. Um, you know, I had, I had a regular, I had a 1986 MR2 with a whole 112 horsepower. Wasn't a fast car. It felt quick, you know, for the time it was, it felt quick, but it was fun. It handled great. It was small and you could toss it around and on the back roads and stuff. It was zippy and, and you know, there's just so much more to the car world and owning a car and having fun with it than just zero to 60 times. Um, you know, I, I've been able to drive, I got to drive one time, um, a guy's Tesla Plaid. And he was so proud of the fact that, you know, it was so fast. Yeah, yeah, it was fast. <laughs> I mean, it planted you in the seat. And after doing that a few times, okay, wow. I mean, we did that away from everybody. There was no traffic around and stuff. So, but when you're using your car in normal situations, there's always traffic around you. You can't sit there and, and do that and do zero to 150 mile an hour runs not on public roads. Sure, you can take it down to the drag strip if you want to do it, but 
That's the same thing over and over. I'm sorry, that's boring to me. I, I get very bored with doing the same thing. So I don't, uh, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. I, I don't know how somebody can enjoy doing the same thing over and over and think it's fun. Um, I prefer variety uh, in my in my driving, and that's you know that's why I love uh, back roads, and that's why I love road trips because you're always you're going other places, you're exploring other things, and uh, so I. I, you know, the whole zero to 60, the quarter mile times, the horsepower ratings, uh, all this stuff that just, you know, everybody trying to measure their manhood against everybody else's and thinking that, uh, you know, that makes them a better person or something. Um, I, I just think it's a, it's a sad decline in the way that, uh, people associate with other people in the car world and car culture and uh, they've just kind of lost it. It's it's no different than you know going to Cars and Coffee and seeing these people that feel like they have to uh, rev their their engine and it cracks me up they start up their car their car's not even completely warmed up and it's been sitting for two hours it's cold and they rev it up and they're going, you know, all the way up to red line and just sitting it there and and uh, they think it's cool. <laughs> I'm just like, what an idiot, you know? It just makes me think they don't know anything about cars or engines um, or they're off next to us doing donuts or, or they're driving, you know, doing zero to 60 pulls in a 25 mile per hour zone and they're just gonna get everybody kicked out and we're not gonna be able to have cars and coffee and have our get togethers where we can talk with other people and have fun checking out other cars because they've got to you know, be an idiot over there and uh, act like they, their car is so cool and everybody, well, look at me, I'm over here doing donuts. I just, uh, again, it's that mentality that I just don't understand. And I would love, love to know what you guys think. What, what are your, uh, what's your mindset when it comes to stuff like that? Uh, you know, do you like it? Are you one of them doing that? Um, do you have to have all the attention in the world that, you know, so people see you and they know that, you, you know, you have X amount of horsepower and your car is so fast and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just, yeah, not not sure where this road is heading, and uh, you know, and people doing street racing and and taking over intersections and and every time you turn around, somebody, you know, when that happens, people are getting killed and hurt, and yet there's still people that gather cheering them on. And then somebody, and then somebody gets hurt because they lose control and wreck their car. And I mean, I'll be honest. I think it's hilarious when I see the videos of people leaving a car meet and they're trying to act like they're all big and bad. And they, they turn onto the road and hit the, hit the accelerator and then spin out because they don't know how to drive and they can't even handle the horsepower they have. And yet they were probably sitting for the last several hours talking about how they want more power. They don't have enough. <laughs> and then they end up wrecking their car and uh, smashing up their suspension and whatnot um, because <clears throat> they don't even have the skills to handle what they have. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to touch on base on a couple of those things. It's just, uh, some of it just drives me nuts. I wish people would take a, a big deep breath and settle down and there's so much more to having fun in a car than just a straight zero to 60 or a quarter mile time or what's my horsepower. And uh, I mean, I have so much more fun on twisty back roads and canyon roads and, and mountains and 
um, you know, living out in the Western U.S. is a beautiful thing. And for anybody else that lives in the Western part of the United States, they know what I mean because the roads are fantastic. So, and those of you that live in Canada too know it. Um, you know, all throughout the Rockies, gosh, there's just thousands and thousands of miles that you can travel of back roads and you will never get bored. And they're all different and uh, they're just fantastic. No need to go do the same track over and over. And hey, if you wanna to go to the track, that's great. But yeah, boy, that gets old fast, you know? Yeah, you know, have fun with the car, see what it can do and stuff. But, uh, and, and I think it's a great way to improve your driving abilities. Um, I think it's, I think autocross is a fantastic way to do that. Um, I autocrossed for many, many years. And, uh, and I attribute that uh, to helping my, helping me learn my skills as a young driver and develop them. And, you know, when you spin out on an autocross course, there's really nothing that you're going to do other than maybe take out a cone or two. So that's a, that's a nice safe way to learn what a car is going to do. So anyway, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. A little bit of a rant, a little bit of, um, uncertainty to where we're going. And I really would love to hear what you guys have to say. So until next time, I appreciate it. Everybody. Ugh. Until next time, guys, I appreciate everything. I appreciate your support. I really do need it. I would love to see some more people subscribing. Um, only about, um, 6% of you that actually watch the videos and stuff, subscribe to the channel. So I would sure appreciate it if you would um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you see something that uh, you appreciate and can help somebody else, uh, pass it along and share it. So until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. Thanks.